Good morning. Hey. This is Jasmine here. It's really early in the morning. My lips are dry. I just finished putting on my makeup for work. But I wanted to make a quick video because I bought this Maybelline Vivid Matte. And it's in the color Smoky Rose, number 38. And I wanted to see how it does. I buy makeup from the beauty supply store, Max, for Ulta, doesn't matter. And I actually have another one that I'm going to try today, too. It's an Ulta Matte Lip Cream, and it's called Stirring. And so I'm going to see how they both do. Um, I've been, they're both kind of around the same color. I know this one looks more red in the two, but it's more purple. So I'm gonna see how they do today. Um, this is my first time buying a Vivid Matte from Maybelline, and it's cute in a tube. So let's see if it's true to matte. We've all bought matte creams or liquid lips before, and it's not matte at all. It's more like a lip gloss. So we're gonna see what they do. I'm gonna try it on. And I see if this is a good one for you guys to purchase. So one thing I can say about it is it goes on super smooth. It's really creamy. I like some mats that you put on. So guys, I have my Maybelline lipstick on. Well, my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip. And so far, the only pros to it is it has this really creamy feel to it. It's creamy texture. So it's not really dry like most mattes. But as you can see, this is not a matte lipstick at all. It's not. This one cost me about $5 in the store. This is a tube. I just got it. It cost me about 5 bucks in the store. Um, but I wouldn't recommend you buy it because if you're looking for a matte lipstick, I wouldn't recommend you buy it because it's not matte at all. It's more of a gloss than it is a matte. So, if you're looking for a good lip gloss, I'd recommend this, but it's not really a matte at all. So, this one, I wouldn't recommend for a good matte lip. Nope. Now, let's try our other one. Put my handy dandy makeup wipe. And guys, I had it wrong. I'm actually not trying on stirring today. That one is the more the one that's more red. Um, by Sephora. I got it all off. I'm trying on elusive. So I got this one from Ulta. It is the Ulta Matte Lip Cream. It's in this tube here. Where is it? the Ulta matte lip cream and I'm going to be trying this one on today as well let's see how this one does this is actually really close in color to this one let's see how it does guys So, so far, guys, I feel the same way about this one. Um, it goes on really smooth.
It's creamy. But, and it, it's not really drying. But one thing I can say about this one is it's a little transparent. So you might have to double coat it. So, about a minute into this one, and it still hasn't dried. I'm trying to hear you and see if it'll dry. Okay, so as you can see, while we're waiting on this to dry, I'm still rocking my goddess, um, Bohemian Curl Goddess Locks. I still love these guys. This, this lipstick needs to come with a fan because right now it's looking like it's All not right, so we're about five minutes in to this lipstick and well, lip, ultra matte lip cream. And it's a little bit drier than the Maybelline, um, but it's still not completely dry. And who has five minutes in the morning to wait on their lipstick to dry? But what I want to do, since this one's a little bit drier than the other one, is anytime I wear purple, I always line it well. And most of my lipsticks, I always line them. So I have my handy dandy, I've had this for a long time, my handy dandy Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC. And that's what I pretty much line all my deep colors in. So we're going to see if this does anything for this lipstick. a little my blend it together better than that though I don't want the old school look let me see they gave it a little dip it look, still looks cute, but it gave it a little dip that blended it in a little better. So, now I'm going to go finish putting my clothes on for work. And I'm going to come back and see if this lipstick actually dries matte so that I could recommend it or not. At this point, I don't recommend the Maybelline vivid matte liquid unless you want a lip gloss and not a lip cream but i'm going to see about this ultra matte lip cream one thing i can tell you if it does dry is that the con to this is it dries really slow so i'm going to come back to you after i finish getting dressed and let you know if this is one to buy or not so as you can see, my lipstick or my ultimate lip cream is a little darker. So it is finally dried. Um, and it's a little deeper and I really like it. But there are some pros and cons to this elusive color. One being the fact that it takes about 10 minutes to dry. Okay, that's a con to this. And uh, that's really the only con. The other thing is it dries darker than it goes on. Yeah, it dries darker than it goes on. But I like dark colors, so it don't matter. It's not really um, a con. One thing I can tell you for sure is that my lips do not feel like they're about to crack open like they do with most uh matte colors even though they're my favorite i'll get a little closer so you can see so they this one feels really good um but the con to this is that i have had this on my lips for about 10 minutes 
and it's it's not completely dry, but it's definitely drier than it was. So, would I recommend you buying this one if you got a little time to spare in the morning? You can buy this one. It's called a loose. So let me get it. You need a lip primer in most cases, but with this one, you do not need a lip primer. It feels really good, and that's probably why it takes so long to dry. But other than that, the color is actually cute. Tell me what y'all think about it. Um, but I definitely recommend this one. And like I said, I don't recommend the Maybelline. It's really wet. It's like more of a, it's way more of a gloss than anything else. So just let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. So y'all, this is the lipstick. It's about an hour and a half in. And I absolutely love it. So, here's the thing. I had to come back and tell y'all. I love this. The thing is, it does take a long time to dry. But when it dries, it's worth it. This lipstick was, I want to say, $10. It was about $9. It was like $9 and maybe 10 I'm going to check the price and I'm going to let y'all know. But it's so worth buying. I love it. I love it. I have gotten a massive amount of compliments on it. Hey.